Hey, what's going on everyone? We're gonna be talking about shoulder pain and ring dips today. Um, now, if you're someone where the next day, a couple days later, you always have that kind of annoying little shoulder pain while you're doing dips, but you haven't changed anything about it, we want you to take a look at your shoulder position at the bottom. So, uh, a common fault kind of in the world of CrossFit is we're so focused on range of motion that sometimes we don't think about how we got through that range of motion. So, at the bottom of the ring dip, right, we think front of the shoulder, bicep to rings, but a lot of times we're not looking at which way that shoulder's rotating. So as I go down into that dip, right, if I start at the top, I shouldn't be here at the top, right? I want to be pressed back and down a little bit, and I come forward, if my shoulder starts to rotate way in, what we call that here is bro shoulder. We don't want that, because at the bottom, you're gonna be in pain. Even at the top, if you're here, we have issues, right? And it's mostly that your supporting structure isn't, isn't able to support you, all stuff on the backside of your body, isn't able to support a good shoulder position while doing a dip. Now, that's a whole nother story about getting your upper back stronger, right? You can almost train your upper back every day to get it there, but we're gonna talk about a quick kind of loaded stretch to help open up the bottom position of that dip. So I'm here with Joe. You might recognize Joe from previous videos. Joe's got uh, kipping ring muscle-ups. He's got kipping bar muscle-ups. He's got a ton of pull-ups. He can do ring dips, but this stretch is actually pretty tight on him. So Joe's gonna get on the ground. It's just a tabletop hold, that's all we're gonna be doing. Hands can go any way you want. He's gonna squeeze his hips up, you can let your head go back. And what we're looking at is, we don't want Joe's shoulders in his ears, can you pull him back or down a little bit? But he probably feels this big stretch, even down his bicep, up here in his pec line, right? And this is just a loaded stretch for the bottom of the push-up, bottom of the dip, you can relax, Joe. And plus, we're gonna build some time under tension in the right position instead of that shoulder rolling forward. So give it a go, try and hold it for 20 to 30 seconds, add it into, end, to the end of your warm up, 20, 30 seconds around. Let me know how it goes for you. Thank you, Joe, as you run away. I'll talk to you guys soon.